Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, today I'm going to be doing uh, an Xbox 360 collection video. Um, I have about 40 something games, um, so this may go into two parts. Um, I actually filmed a entire video game collection video, but uh, I just didn't really, I don't know why I didn't really put it up, but I didn't, I didn't in the end really want to put it up. Uh, so yeah, I'll just go right into, um, these aren't really, in, these are like kind of alphabet alphabetical order because I just pulled them off my shelf, but I'll just go through them. Uh, the first two, Rock Band, oh yeah, Rock Band 1 and 2. Um, at first I liked Rock Band 2, uh, Rock Band 1 more, um, and I still do, but um, I didn't like the story, the, the career mode in um, Rock Band because you'd play songs over and over again and it really bothered me because, I mean, you know, I don't really want to keep playing songs I don't really love, so that was one big gripe I didn't like about it. But the DLC is awesome, uh, and it's still really good, and I also don't like the drum set. I wish I got, uh, I, w I wish I had the Guitar Hero, uh, the Guitar Hero World Tour drum set, it's a lot cooler. Uh, Rainbow Six Vegas 2, uh, I did a review on this, um, it's a really fun game, I never actually beat it, I got to like the very, very end of the game, and then I couldn't beat a mission and I kind of stopped playing. But uh, it's a really solid game. It's a really good looking game. Uh, and the multiplayer is pretty good. 007 Quantum of Solace. I got this with the at the Best Buy $10 sale a few weeks ago. I beat it. It was a really, really, it, was, it wasn't really short, but it was pretty short. Uh, I'm actually thinking about starting to film the review for this after I, after I do this video. Uh, but it's, it's a really fun, solid shooter. Uh, Project Gotham Racing 4. I just needed a racing game. Uh, the only problem I have with racing games is I don't really know that much about um, about like you know cars and stuff. So the upgrades and stuff like that I don't really know much about. It's a really fun game. It's fun to play online as well. Uh, Prince of Persia, the new one. It's the game is beautiful. Uh, you know it's it's just like it's just jaw dropping. You know how nice the graphics are in this. It's like it looks like everything is just like you know hand painted. Uh, it looks great after you after you um, cure a part of the uh, of the world. The only thing that, I love the the jumping around and, and stuff like that. But the only thing that I hated about it, which a lot of people uh, feel the same way, is um, the combat. The combat really slowed down the flow of the game, and it really turned me off. It's not bad though. Perfect Dark Zero. This is a contender for the worst game in my collection or my 360 collection. Um, I don't know, I was told at work to at least try it out by somebody, but I did not like it. Uh, I played it for about 15-20 minutes maybe, and I had to shut it off because I just wasn't feeling it. Uh, I heard the one for, for the N64 is really good, but as a game, again, I can't get into it because it's just too old for me to go back and, and, and you know, and play. The Orange Box, uh, it's a great compilation, it's very, very uh, cheap, for like 20 bucks. You get Half-Life, Portal, Team Fortress 2. Portal, I think, is my favorite of the games. Although Half-Life is great. Um, but Portal is just so fun, and it's just, you know, it's a real, it's like a brain teaser. You know, you have to try and figure out what do you have to, uh, you know, if I shoot it over here, and I, you know, where will I come out over there? It's just, it's really fun, and it's just very challenging, but it's a good challenge. Definitely recommend it. Uh, NHL 09 and 08. Uh, I won't talk about 08 because it's old, but uh, NHL 09 is, was great. It had uh, it, it implemented a, a couple new things. Um, it implemented the uh, be a pro mode, where you control your own player, and you know you start on the minors and you try and work your way up to the NHL. And it also had uh, EA Sports Hockey League. Pretty much, you just uh, it was like an MMO. Uh, and you know, you, you I, I never played it, but because you, you have to, you have to find guys to play with, and I never did. Uh, and it's you know featuring just just six on six team play. You control one person, and you just play with the same people against other teams. It's really cool. Alright, so Mirror's Edge, uh, it's a really innovative game, which is cool. I always like to see uh, you know new, new ideas put into games. Um, it was really really fun, just jumping around wall to wall, platform to platform, trying to get through the game. You know, avoiding the enemies and stuff it was really cool. Uh, if you haven't tried it, which I'm sure you have, definitely recommend everybody to at least you know rent it if not buy it. Next up is Madden 08. Uh, 
I don't really remember much about the game. I don't know why I really bought it, to be honest. I got it on launch night, too. Uh, next is Lost Odyssey. Uh, I just needed an RPG to check out, and I heard that this was this was a good one. And I, I played through the first disc. As you can see, there are four. So it's a pretty long game. Uh, but yeah, I played through the first game, uh, through the first disc, took about like 10 hours. I kind of just like lost interest. Um, maybe sometime soon I'll, I'll get back into it, but if not, uh, the f first disc at least is fun. Uh, next is Lego Indiana Jones, the original adventure. Definitely recommend this. Uh, it's, you know, it's cute, it's, it's kitty, but the, um, you know, the, some of the puzzles are hard. It's really good platforming. It's like a platformer adventure game. It's a lot of fun. Definitely check it out. Left 4 Dead. Uh, one of the funnest multiplayer games out there. Um, it did get a little stale though, but the new DLC is, is really good. Um, you know, it's kind of like the horde mode on Gears 2. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's fun. You have to play with peop with other people though, and make sure you have your headset on because it's just that much funner. Kane and Lynch Dead Men. Uh, it's one of the like grittiest, darkest games uh, I've played. Uh, at least, as, you know, as off the top of my head that I can remember. Um, the story is actually very, very good, um, from what I remember. So if you like stories, check out the game for the story. Uh, there, there was some issues with it. The, the shot detection was really bad. Um, I didn't beat the, the game. I, I, I tried to beat this one little mission a thousand times, and I just can't, so I just gave up. Halo 3, uh, you know, it's just the final you know, the final to the, uh, to the trilogy, or well, maybe a lot of people are saying that, uh, that at E3, um, you know, people think that there's, they're gonna, they're gonna announce Halo 4, uh, but I don't know, I never really got into it, I'm not a huge fan of the Halo series, to be honest, and, uh, you know, the multiplayer was good, though. Uh, Guitar Hero 3, Legends of Rock, I got this with the guitar. Uh, it's it's kind of boring to go back and play this now with Rock Band out and like the full the full band thing, but uh, it's not it's not bad I guess. Uh, it was really difficult. I, I can't beat a lot of the the uh, songs on uh, on hard at the you know, towards the latter songs of of the set list, but I don't know. It wasn't bad though. Grand Theft Auto 4, awesome game. Uh, I really liked it a lot. Um, it looks beautiful, you know, you know the, the uh, Liberty City looks awesome, uh, I love the sun, I, they're, they're always like caught my eye, the, the sun when you're driving like in the morning or, or at night when it's going down or, or rising, it looks awesome, uh, the missions were good, the voice acting was awesome, the characters, you know, you really get attached to, uh, it's just a really very solid game. Ghost Recon uh, Advanced Warfighter 2. It, it was good I when I rented it from um, from Gamefly, but when I bought it, I, I haven't played it since. I, I spent 20 bucks on it, and I never um, I never played it. I don't know why, but uh, it's really a good-looking game, too. The explosions look good, uh, just the environments look sick. Uh, Gears of War 2, I thought it was a very big improvement from Gears of War 1. Some people don't think so, but I do. Uh, the multiplayer was improved, the horde mode was introduced, which is awesome. Just, you know, it, it was more plot-oriented than the first one. I thought it was, I thought it was very good. Uh, some people don't agree with that, but to each his own, right? Gears of War, the original, uh, you know, the one that started it all, I guess. Well, it was only two. But, um, yeah, it was a fun game. Uh, it's not that long, but, uh... I just don't think that it's any, it's no, I don't, not that it's nowhere near as good as the second one, but uh, it's definitely, it's definitely not as good as the second one.